Hey everybody. I suppose it's time for a recap video. Uh, I do my best to answer all of your questions and thank you for your amazing compliments, comments, donations, everything. Uh, question I'm being asked 10 times a day, all day long, is what am I doing with this thing? I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. Uh, one day I built a B36 main instrument panel to hold a collection of gauges that I got off of eBay. It took me around 20 years to accumulate. <clears throat> built the panel, had to have the, because uh, I was building this flight simulator, I had to have the center console to sit the panel on. I uh, realized that the panel did not sit on the center console, but rather on the rudder pedal assemblies. So I built those and I said, well, if I've done that far much, I might as well keep on going. If that's what I'm doing right now. I've done that much, I might as well keep on going. Uh, I've got a library of B36, vintage B36 uh, materials, uh, flight manuals, repair manuals, uh, uh, maintenance manuals. And uh, the more I build of the B36, the more I get interested in it. Uh, some people aren't happy unless they see a, a warbird fly over doing 200 miles an hour. Uh, I'm not happy unless I understand why that piece of metal is curved the way it is. That's just the type of person I am. Uh, it's purely academic. Um, I, the build is based on my channel's performance. Right now, YouTube is paying me around two to three dollars per 1,000 views. So I'm making a solid five to six dollars a day right now doing this, working on it eight to 10 hours a day. I got a garage, it's 30 by 30 feet. I'm just a poor West Virginia guy. I'm not a billionaire. And to build an airworthy airplane, of this magnitude, just to build the airplane would probably run well into the billion dollar figure. <laughs> you need to understand, in order to have something airworthy, you just can't go and buy aluminum. You have to have aircraft grade aluminum. Um, and once again, I'm not an aeronautical engineer, first of all. I don't profess to know everything, but I pick things up along the way. One of the reasons I was so intimidated with purchasing brand new aluminum opposed to using scrap aluminum um, road signs and stuff from flea markets, etc., was because I called a few places and they quoted me six to nine hundred dollars for an eight by four sheet of aircraft aluminum. Think about that. B36 has a 230 foot long wingspan with ring, wing roots that were around 11 feet thick got a 167 foot long fuselage. The B-36, including the canopy sitting on its landing gear was around 17 feet tall. Just the nose of the B-36 with the canopy, you're pushing 13 to 14 feet tall. Uh, building something of that magnitude, uh, one thing I gotta profess by saying is I live on a hill and it goes like that. There's no way a, an, a low boy tractor trailer is going to be able to get up here to haul away a fuselage. I'd have to dis... And once again, I live in, you know, I'm not going to say a really nice neighborhood, but I live in a nice neighborhood. Um, it doesn't have a homeowners association. It is not one. But, you know, people don't want a B36 nose that is almost as tall as this house sitting on the driveway. As much as I would love to build that, Doing so, it's got to make sense. Um, it's I'm going to have to build maybe a, a fence in the yard to cover it. I'm going to have to build, put this in storage while I build the lower part, and then one day, you know, get a crane to put to, to hoist this up on top of the lower part, someplace where it's going to be permanent or semi-permanent, and then that's a whole other can of worms because who wants this? When I get this thing done in five, 10 years at that magnitude of construction or that level of construction, who's gonna want this thing? And if they want it, if it's a museum, how are they gonna get it there? You know, the, the logistics of just the B36 nose is, it's comical. 
Um, I told people when I first started doing this thing, I was going to do it until I either died or it stopped making sense. In order to have an airworthy B36, I would have to have a hangar with around 500,000 square feet of floor space. That's a colossal building. Just the, if somebody, this is extremely hypothetical, borderlining com comic, comedic. I mean, if somebody were, were to donate a facility to this airplane or this project, which they're not going to, it, it would have to be someplace close to me because I have to be able to get there. I can't uproot my family and be like, hey, honey, hey, kids, we're going to go build a B-36. And then, and then the aspect of, of on YouTube, watching a guy build a B-36 from afar seems like a really cool idea. But when you actually stand beside of a B-36 and when you actually think about how much it would cost, I mean, once again, no expert, but there's, you know, property taxes, you know, that, that I would have to pay for owning an airplane. They would estimate, it would, I don't even want to know what somebody pays property taxes on an airplane. You know, there's hangering fees, there's tarmac fees, there's parking fees. And that's not even scratching the paint of the, the engineering skill that it would take somebody far beyond my knowledge. Because, you know, just to be basic, you know, you have to have certain fasteners, that junction areas with, with tensile strength and like brake strength. You have to have rivets, you have to have um, screwed fasteners in different orders for different places, different thicknesses of metal. That is well out of my wheel box, far beyond my prey grade. Um, I can simulate it, I can make it look good from afar, but in terms of creating something airworthy, in order to make something airworthy, it has to be FFA certified. Um, Federal Aviation, pardon me, I don't know what that acronym stands for. I know what it says, but you know, brain fart, it happens. Um, Federal Aviation Agency, maybe. They, they have to certify it. You have to have annual inspections it, like, once again, well out of my wheelhouse. If somebody wants to chime in one day and educate me, you know, great. Tell me all about it. Um, but uh, I, my first videos, if you look back into September of this year, you'll see that, or I'm sorry, February of this year, you'll see that uh, I'm looking for a few good billionaires. Or just one good billionaire. I mean, because that's what it's going to take. Um, now, I will say this, that some YouTubers... They make thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars per video. If I ever get that kind of traffic, that kind of global attention, then it's, it's conceivable that I would push my life plans off to the side and build a B-36. Would it be airworthy? Would it be something that's, you know, ground taxiable? I don't know. And then you have to look at it. Who's going to want this thing? once it's there because you're gonna it's gonna be like the spruce goose you're gonna have to have this facility you, you know these people just to keep it um housed so it doesn't rot you're talking mega bucks and i'm just a 46 year old guy in a garage you know uh i figure oh, we'll be revisiting this conversation later but and it just my, my conscience won't allow me to to not say something because um, this, this project of this magnitude is, is something that is going to cost billions of dollars. I'll see y'all next time.